Well, we all get them and we all hate them. We're talking about those obnoxious robocalls that blow up our phones throughout the day. So we wanted to know what's really being done to stop them. Here's Adam Longo with tonight's Verify. Hello? 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 500,000 complaints every month. Illegal calls, robocalls. And why does it seem to be getting worse? Why did you come to us, Christopher? Uh, for a while now, I've been getting robocalls. Every time I get home, I have at least six or seven robocalls on my machine. So. Calls threatening to throw Chris Johnson in jail. He is fed up and looking to verify. What is the question that you wanted verified? If anyone is doing anything to combat robocalls. You're reporting these things and mm -hmm. seeing absolutely no action. No. I email them the number, I call their tip line or whatever, and yeah, just nothing. We're really doing active law enforcement and we're using the data that consumers give us in our complaints to drive that. Verify brought Chris's concerns straight to the feds and this guy. Do not call program coordinator here at the Federal Trade Commission. Ian Barlow, law degree from GW, litigator with the FTC for three and a half years, heading up cases against 17 people and 22 businesses, some accused of making billions of unwanted and illegal robocalls. Can you give me reassurance as a member of the public that the government's doing everything that they can to try to get rid of these illegal and unwanted calls and let us maintain peace in our homes. We really are working to help consumers manage this problem. You hear the frustration. Yeah, they call me. Uh, I get it. So they go to do not call .gov, but they also call me directly. We get it. Chris isn't convinced. He's on the do not call list, but spammers are still blowing up his phone and it's not getting any better. So you're here to see action. You mm -hmm. want to see somebody actually doing something exactly. to stop the robocalls. Exactly, yes. All right, well, let's go inside and get All her right. done. Right. Good afternoon. Welcome right. So it does look like the problem is getting worse. I would actually say that the problem is starting to get better. James Garvert, engineering degree from Villanova, vice president of product management with Newstar, a data management and cybersecurity company in Sterling, Virginia. Using information the FTC provides to Newstar, the company is working to A, compile a massive list of spam phone numbers, and B, develop call blocking software that filters out those illegal calls. Something that would say possible spam or possible, you know, you know, bad call or whatever. And that's where the that's where the industry's going. That's where the industry is going. Then you decide whether you want to actually answer mm -hmm. the call or you want to drop the call. So we're going to get rid of illegal robocalls and we, the consumer, we're not going to have to pay anything to do it. That's the plan. All of those 500,000 complaints every month get filtered and forwarded to companies like Newstar. So the more you report, the more it is going to help. It's not just go, your complaint isn't going into the nether sphere and vanishing. That, that is absolutely right. Do you, you feel better about some of the things that you've seen today? Yeah, and I think this is going to help a lot of people who didn't knew nothing about this, you know, including me. I mean, I knew nothing about centers like this. You call the government, you report these things, but you don't hear anything. Mm -hmm. it turns out they are doing something. Mm -hmm. It's just that you didn't know that until today. Yeah, they're not making people aware that whatever you're giving them, they're they're actually using it and giving it to somebody else. And you know, if they maybe if they made that a little bit clear, people would not be as you know hot headed as sometimes they get when they get all these robocalls. Uh, it does get old. The company Newstar has done some research. It concluded that up to 90% of legitimate business calls are not being answered because people do not recognize the number. They actually think that the calls are spam. Within the next few weeks, the FTC will release an annual report about illegal calls, and we should get a better sense of if this problem is getting better or worse. By the way, if you have something you'd like verified, send us an email at verify at WFA.com. We'll be right back.